Hi, thanks for checking out our channel. If you've got a stay fixed unit or a, of any kind or a speed right unit energizer of any kind, we would be happy to work on it for you. We do give free quotes and 18 month warranty, but we're going to kind of go through this unit, talk about it, a little bit about it, and maybe a Maybe do a little review on it, what we think about it. Um, I'm on a, I don't sell things. Uh, I sell some parts on occasion, but I don't sell new units at this time. And I'm just an independent repair shop. Me and my dad work on this stuff for people. We get units shipped to us from all over the United States. We've sold parts to people up in Canada, people overseas, and, you know, even South America or Mexico down there somewhere. We sold um, some, uh, some parts to a couple people down there. So, I mean, we've... We help out wherever we can. Electric fence is kind of universal, no matter where you know what country you're at, you're in. Um, they're all similar in the way that they act and operate. And some of these brands are sold everywhere. Right? Gallagher's globally sold. Parmac is up in Canada and down here. Speedrite, they're global. Stayfix, I don't know if Stayfix is sold globally. I think it was just here in the states. I think. Um, but anyways. Stay fixed X18Is, the one we got here in front of us. The Speedrite 18,000I is the same thing, just a different colored case. Uh, as of like spring or early summer, Stay Fix here in the States has been discontinued as a brand. Um, Dino, Data Mars um, bought out True Test, this company here, about a year and a half ago or so. And over the course of time, they've got to get their bearings and everything. And they decided um unfortunately or whatever you want to call it they're going to discontinue the stay fix brand but the good thing is state speed right is the same thing there's like a gmc and a chevy truck they're the same thing on the inside just a different badging or different color scheme on the outside so you know that's <laughs> one of the same so i don't know why they even had two brands that were the same thing but they did so but that's the name of the game on that stuff. But um, we're going to go through this thing real quick and talk about it. Um, all of our information is right there. You can go to our down below. There's uh, in the drop down arrow. Hit that little black arrow there. And um, there are links to our website. But you can get a hold of us about any time of the day almost. And uh, talk to us about what you got. But uh, let's go through this unit real quick. This is one that we fixed for a customer here recently. This is Stay Fix X18i, like I was saying, and you can see there. Um, we're taking it apart here real quick to show you the inside. It's got a lot of parts to it on the inside, a lot of electronic stuff going on. Get the back cover to pop off here. There we go. That's the inside of a X18i Stay Fix or a Speedrite 18,000i. Uh, how the thing's laid out, uh, I'm not going to go through all the crap that's on there because a lot of stuff I don't know what the hell it is, <laughs> unfortunately, because a lot of electronics and gizmos on there. But um, this is your main power board. This is the main heart of the charger, this, this area up here. Uh, these three capacitors are soldered onto the board built into it, and they're kind of like your, um, like I would guess, your multiplier circuit. They would gradually build the charge up gradually. And then you got your two main charge capacitors that discharge all that energy kind of gets built up to them and then there's some uh some circuitry in here that does all the timing and triggering and firing of it and it takes this energy from here and discharges it through the transformer transformer spikes it up and spits it out to your terminals down here this is your lcd board that does all your um you know, it shows the numbers on the front, you know, their voltages and stuff like that. Your lights that light up and flash across the, the front there, your red and green lights are up in here. There are surface-mounted LEDs that are soldered up here. Um, the uh, they, they are tied together with this little ribbon cable right here. That way the lights and the numbers kind of go hand-in-hand. Hand. They know they work together. Basically, if, it, if the lights don't go all the way in the green, but they fall down to, say, the middle of the green... The number will also go down at the same time, say from reading 10 kV down to maybe 5 kV or whatever, depending on your kind of load. This board here is like your output. Like it's got a bunch of stuff going on with it. This um, this little device right here, little blue thing, that's like is your lightning protection piece. They've also got a little lightning rod, a little thing right here runs across here. This little black device right here is um, part of the remote control so then it's an inductor that picks up the um, signal from your remote control 
Um, there's actually two of them on there. And uh, so that's what this board is. It's lightning protection as well as um, it does also this big resistor right here. That's your, um, oh, it's supposed to bring the power down from the full power to the half power for the uh, yellow terminal on the front there. Uh, that's what the big resistor does. I made a lot of software chips. There's all kinds of stuff on this thing. I mean, this thing's like a miniature computer when it comes to how it looks and how it operates. Um, they're an okay brand, okay unit. Now, this particular unit had a bad main board in it. Uh, you can see the center on the back there. One four, it's a 2014 model, so it's six years old. The board went bad in it. Uh, no apparent lightning damage on it. I couldn't find anything burnt on it. It just would not act right. Um, you know, they're not a cheap unit to buy. They're nearly $1,000 for a new one, so... Um, they can be quite pricey to buy brand new, but they are cheaper, typically cheaper to fix than to buy a new one. Uh, unless there's a lot wrong with it, then they can start creeping up, you know, pretty high. Um, pastors hardly ever go bad. Transformers hardly ever go bad. Depending on if lightning gets a hold of it or not, sometimes the, the LCD boards will go bad or this logic board will go bad. Um, in it, and then of course, the, all the power is applied to this board, so we'll use the issues with the unit or use this main power board, uh, uh, in it. And, um, but they are repairable, they're not, not throwaway units by any means, uh, unless they're just totally trashed inside, then it might not be worth it to fix it. But if you send one, ship one to us, we do give you a free quote. And we do put 18-month uh, uh, warranties on all the repairs that we do to a unit, no matter um, what age of the unit it is. So this six-year-old unit has now got a year and a half warranty on it from us. You know, brand new as of 2020, somewhere in 2020, probably a few months ago, they um, uh, came out with three-year warranties on all their new stuff that they've got out there. Uh, they were two-year warranties for the longest time, but they seemed to jump on the bandwagon like Gallagher did when they Gallagher went to a three-year warranty about four years ago or three years ago or so, two, probably two, two, three years ago. And um, now uh, Parmax, a three-year warranty now because of Gallagher, and now Stayfix, Speedrider, and Patriot. That's their other brand. That's a cheapo cousin brand. Um, those are all three-year warranties because Gallagher went to three-year warranty, so everybody else has got to compete, so they went to a three-year warranty as well. So, well, let's power this unit on here. I've got, um, God, that's one thing I need to do to this thing. This switch thing is very hard to turn. Slide across there. Let's, let's fix that real quick. That's an easy fix. Uh, here, we can get from the outside. See some contact cleaner, WD-40, anything like that. You know, just spray a little bit down inside here. And then work it across, get it started. And then you can kind of work it back and forth. Ah, that thing is still pretty tight. Let me get, I just got this WD-40 contact cleaner, but I think we need some actually WD-40 stuff. So we'll get, we'll get the regular WD-40. Well, this is the, more of a lubricant too anyways. There's just some, some, there's a magnet behind this thing. And this, there we go. And you gotta work it back and forth. I'll probably spray a little bit down here. And WD-40 doesn't hurt anything electronically, doesn't hurt stuff. So, you don't have to worry about WD-40 hurting electronics at all. So, there's nothing, actually there's nothing even behind this thing. It's a little magnet that runs across, right across here. And it, through the plastic of the casing, the magnet will bleed through and talk to each of the points on the board. So there's no actual electronics behind this piece. It's just plastic. So you don't have to worry about really hurting anything and doing that. And in general, WD-40 doesn't hurt electronics anyways. 
So let's um let's uh okay, got plugged in on the back here. Turn my power supply on. So there's your clicking right along there, showing all the lights. Shows 10,000 volts on it. Let's um, get a meter here. We'll test it. All right. Turn it off. Got this little tester here. Turn the light off because there's a bad glare. And this tester's not the greatest quality LCD on it anyway. It's kind of hard to see. Well, it's hard to see it in the video, but this LCD on here is not the greatest quality of this tester. But reading 11,000 volts. Meters up here says 10. So it's pretty close. We'll put this on there. Should This thing should be maxed out. But what's bad about this little thing, I like it. Nice little tester. But you get about 10, 15, 20 joules or more out of it. it this thing will start. This is electromechanical type. And it will arc inside here. And it won't allow it to go all the way up. Because it's, 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 the, the joules is too high. And it's arcing across inside. So we're going to hook it up. We'll see what happens. No, not working yet, but it is working. Maxing this little tester out. So we're going to turn it off. So, but yeah, we, we work on all this stuff. I mean, we're not really picky on what comes in. I mean, we're somewhat, some brands and models we hate seeing because we're sick of working on them because we get so many of them in because they're really bad design there but you know i guess the manufacturer doesn't like to make them any better i guess keep making the same way and keep sending in so i can make a little money on them i guess but um overall stay fix and speed right aren't that bad they're just kind of expensive for what they are You're paying more for a name than i think anything for what they're on the inside I mean, if they were probably um I don't know, 20, 30% cheaper in my book. They would be well worth it, but the parts are expensive. The unit is expensive. So it's like buying an expensive brand of car. You buy a Mercedes car, you know, the engine goes down or motor and the, you know, alternator goes down. I mean, there's a lot of costs in the parts on the thing because it's an expensive brand. So, you know, I don't know much about car, but I know the Mercedes is an expensive brand. So parts are expensive for them. So, but, um, well, if you got any questions, hit us up down below. You can ask questions or go to our website and um, send us questions there or send a unit in for me and I'll work on it for you. We do, like I said, give free quotes and we do put a year and a half warranties on all the repairs that we do to a unit. Lightning is um, part of that warranty. So if you ever have one these fixed, Send it into us and we'll work on it for you. So subscribe to our channel, hit that thumbs up button, and until next time, we'll see you guys later on.